Greetings, Emmaus Road Church. I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about our kind of plans moving forward uh, as a church during this unique and unprecedented season in our world. You know, ever since Jesus said to Peter, on this rock, I will build my church, the people of God have been gathering together. That is, for the last 2,000 plus years, one of the central practices of faith has been the gathering together of the people of God. Sometimes even in civil disobedience, sometimes with the threat of persecution. And I don't take these realities lightly. The church is to be this place of welcome, of gathering for people, anyone and everyone to come and experience the presence of God. It's to be this shelter from the storm. Uh, With those things in mind, I believe that strongly that the gathering together of people is sacred practice. However, this is not the time for civil disobedience or denial. The facts are clear that we are in the face of a global crisis. And so in order to help prevent the spread of COVID-19, we will be gathering exclusively online until further notice. Now, the good news is is that with the technology available to us, we can change and we can shift our methods so that we can still connect with one another, so that we can still disciple people, We can still love our neighbors while also keeping our neighbors and one another safe. So in this case, and in this time, and in this season, as strange as it may seem, loving our neighbors means keeping our physical distance. Uh, So here's some things that you need to know moving forward. The first is that we'll continue to meet Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. for an online worship service. Uh, And then beginning this Sunday, we're going to start the broadcast a little bit early, 9.45 a.m., which will give you a chance to jump on, chat with other members who are there. Uh, We'll have recorded worship music playing uh, so you can engage with that music. It's also a great time to start the broadcast, prepare your coffee, get your communion elements ready, all of that, so you can sit down and be ready uh, to engage with the worship service with us right beginning at 10 a.m. And then this week, beginning this week, March 29th, Uh, Following the service, we're going to gather in a virtual foyer through the video conferencing app called Zoom. Our goal is that after the service, we'll have a chance to see each other and interact with one another in a similar way as we would on a traditional Sunday morning gathering. Uh, And then on Mondays, every Monday, uh, everyone subscribed to our newsletter will receive a discussion and Bible study guide. This guide will include a couple of recap questions from the sermon that we've heard on the previous day, uh, and then also look forward to the scripture and the main theme from the sermon on the following Sunday or the Sunday to come. And and these are meant to be utilized as a family, uh, as an individual, uh, but also in small groups. And whether that's your official life group or whether that's a a small gathering of friends uh, that you want to be able to study the scriptures together or have discussions kind of centered around uh, the sermon that we've heard and the sermon that is yet to come. So it's really meant for you to engage uh, with the online broadcast that has already happened and then the one that is yet to come. And then every Wednesday, uh, Pastor Grace will also be going live on Facebook for a children's lesson. This lesson is meant for all children that are eKids age, and while parents are always encouraged to watch and to participate with their kids, uh, this is not meant to require parent involvement. So children can watch uh, independently, watch the live broadcast, um, or you can watch later as those videos will also be archived on our Facebook page. But we just believe that in this season and in this time, our children need to continually be formed in the ways of Christ and be, and raised up as the children of God. And uh, this is one way for us to be able to provide uh, teaching and broadcast specifically for them. And then every Friday, we're going to be sending out resources for the service broadcast that weekend. Uh, This will include the corporate readings that we'll be saying, uh, prayers, sermon notes, etc. You can kind of think of the Friday resource as a digital handbook so that you can get the most out of our online gatherings each weekend. So we encourage you to print it out or have it available on a screen so that you can follow along and participate with us uh, each and every Sunday morning for our online broadcast. Now, of course, what all of this means is that if you haven't subscribed to our newsletter or you haven't liked us on Facebook, now is a great time to do so. You can subscribe to our newsletter by going to the contact page uh, on our website. 
And you can like us on Facebook by going to facebook.com forward slash the road FC. You can also find us on Instagram at the road FC uh, as well. Now, of course, now more than ever, we need to not just do church, but we need to be the church. And so we'll be communicating with you through all the channels that I've just mentioned about ways that we can love our neighbors and that we can participate in God's healing and renewal. And so I invite you, uh, as we face these uncertain times, I invite you to face them with courage and with hope. And would you join me in praying that in this season, the church of Jesus Christ would be strengthened, our own local community and local church included. I'm also praying and looking forward to the day when we'll all be able to gather together once again, embrace one another, and celebrate the God who makes all things new. And so let's move forward into these uncharted waters with courage, with hope, with love for one another, and deep love for our neighbors as we embody the presence of God in the world. Uh, so let's do this together, and we look forward to being with you again, hopefully, very, very soon. But until then, uh, exclusively online gatherings. God bless.